What's up everybody? So in this video we're going to be talking about cells and the microscope. So we're going to be kind of emphasizing a lot on all the microscope things you need to know regarding cells. So let's just get started. So like I usually say, you are a human being, you're a living thing, right? You're a living creature. And just like all living things, you're made up of many of these cells. How many? How many do you think? In fact, it's trillions, trillions of these cells, many, many zeros, you're made up of these. And if all of your cells work well, um, that, that, that comprise you, then you will be healthy, right? If they, if they end up not working or they get damaged or something, then as a consequence, as a direct consequence, you are damaged. You may die, right? So we have many of these cells and you have to bear in mind that there are so many different types, over 200 types, many, 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 right? So, for example, you have fat cells, you have heart muscle cells, cardiomyocytes, what they call them. You got neurons or nerve cells. You got um, sex cells, for, for example, sperm if you're a male, egg if you're a female, skin cells, blood cells, whatever. You have so many kinds of different cells, right? Many, many different types. And if they all work well together uh, and they all have their own separate role, then we can be very complex, right? If we were only made up of one cell, one kind of cell, we'd be very bland and boring. wouldn't be so complex. So... The point is, we are made up of many, many cells, and not only many cells, many different kinds of cells, and they all kind of work, kind of have a similar structure, like all of these cells will have a nucleus and mitochondria and, the, and all the same organelles, but they will be slightly different. They have different functions. They're specialized, right? So bear this in mind. And also, interestingly, our biggest cell is in the female and it's the egg cell, and our smallest cell is the sperm cell. So both of the two cells that create life are the biggest and the smallest. So now, how do we see when, when I when I have this little picture, like saying we're made up of cells? Can you see them with your eyes? If you use your eyes, can you see them? Have you ever tried? If you look very closely at your skin, you end up kind of gets it gets close, and you can see some small um, lines and hairs, and and but then your eyes start hurting. It gets blurry, so you cannot see any cells just with your eyes, just with your naked eye. No way. What about if you use a magnifying glass? Use a magnifying glass. What about now? Maybe you see things a bit better, but I don't see any cells. Do you? No, right? There's no cells. Can't see cells yet. This is not magnified enough yet. Cells are very small. So what do we need? At the end of the day, we need some sort of microscope. This is a light microscope. And we're going to talk about micros microscopes in this video. Uh, the key things you need to know. It should be fairly um, straightforward and interesting. So let's, let's hope it is like that. Now... This is a fancy one. This is one from nowadays, a very long time ago when microscopes were invented, like this very long time ago, 1590s, very long time ago. They looked, you can Google pictures, they did not look like this, man. I trust, trust me, they looked way more old and not fancy, just, just very straightforward. They were not very good. So they, they were not as good as they are today. And there was a guy, but now they look very good. So over time, they'll look better and better, obviously, as technology progresses. So interestingly, there's a guy called Robert Hooke, right? And he, so even though the microscope was invented quite a while ago, he was the first one around 100 years later to actually use the microscope that they invented to see the first cells. He was able to actually visualize these cells. But back then, they were not even called cells yet because there was no name for it, right? So he was the first one to see these so-called cells with, his, with the microscope. So there are two kinds of microscopes we need to be aware of. Um, light microscope and electron microscope okay so here i'm showing you a picture of the light microscope this is the one you're you're most likely going to use in your class or wherever or maybe you've already used one when you're younger this is the one everyone uses this is the cheaper one that schools can afford and they can actually use it this one here is massive huge so this is the table so you can really see how huge this thing is and it's an electron microscope and it's way more expensive and only like really research centers, like universities can use it, okay? And we're gonna see what the difference is between light microscopes and electron microscopes um, and why they're called light and electron microscopes. But we know micro means small and scope is just a, um, a machine that can see it. So we know why it's called microscope is to see small things like cells. And we're gonna see key differences between these two because you need to know differences between light microscopes and electron microscopes. So let's get into that right now. So here we have, what's this one called again? A light microscope. So everything here in blue is going to be light microscope stuff. Everything here in red will be electron.
For access to our full-length premium videos and so much more, head over to teachme.org now.